Welcome back to the Upper Transfer Show, your weekly dose of all things transfers on the Dynamo Podcast Network, where we bring you the latest news, opinion and gossip in the world of football transfers. Head over to YouTube, smash that subscribe and bell notification button. Audio versions of the show are available through Spotify, iTunes, Podbeam, wherever you pick up your audio shows, you will find us there. If you'd like to contact the show on Twitter at the underscore upper underscore tier. Also, you'll get us on Facebook, the upper tier. Let us know your opinions on the shows and stuff like that. We have a packed show tonight. We knew with the Euros ending that we were going to have a very, very busy transfer condensed window. A lot of teams are heading away doing pre-season camps and stuff like that. And also a lot of teams are very urgent that they want to get their business done very quickly. So let's kick off this week's show. Obviously, the first big deal coming through that we're hearing about, as reported by Sports Mole, talk of United securing a deal for Ferran and for Kieran Trippier, looking at around 68 million for both players. Massive move here for Manchester United, making a statement in the transfer window by signing both these players, along with Jaden Sancho. Unbelievable business being done by the club. Lots of cover now at the back in both left and right back areas, but also on central defence, bringing Varane in there with Harry Maguire, who's been outstanding in the second half of the season and also had a really, really good Euros. So United really laying down the marker this year in terms of title challenge and stuff like that. Also moving on, Chelsea um, seem to be um, looking to secure the service of Erling Haaland, but they contacted Dortmund this week, according to Sports Review, and they had offered either Tammy Abraham or Hudson Adoy as part of the deal, but Dortmund had dismissed it straight away, saying they were not interested in this type of a deal. So very, very interesting moves there at the moment. What Chelsea are trying to do in terms of Erling Haaland. Um, also, Atletico Madrid very interested in bringing in Jesse Lingard according to ninety minute. Um, this will be an interesting move in terms of the Kieran Trippier deal. I wonder if it's, they're both heavily linked, but um, it remains to be seen. But um. Again, Jesse Lingard, massive season he had this season with West Ham and stuff like that. So certainly put himself back in the shop window without a shadow of a doubt, you know. Manchester City, interesting moves there. Obviously looking to bring in Grealish and Kane. You're talking about a value of about 175 to 215 million. So obviously some big players are going to have to be moved on, reporting in the Athletic this week. And when we're talking about big players, the talk before the Euros was obviously Riyad Mahrez. Uh, Gabriel Jesus and obviously Raheem Sterling. These are big players to be moving out and stuff like that, you know. So it'll be interesting this season if that's what happens. It'll be interesting to see the kind of transition period that Man City have in terms of betting these players in and also the players that are moving out. Um, 90 Minute also reporting that uh, Liverpool are preparing a 40 million bid for Sar. Um, certainly a very, very good player. Um, but I would imagine would be slightly disappointing in the, the eyes of Liverpool fans if it was Sarr was the player that they were going to sign. Because um, obviously they've been linked with like Sol Niguez, they've been linked with Malinga Savage, D- Daniel Malin, they've been linked with some really, really big names. Obviously Yuri Tillemans as well. Um, so I don't know, Sarr might be a little bit sort of down key if that was the kind of player that came in you know but again interesting Liverpool at the moment being linked with every player with a heartbeat at the moment so remains to be seen they're keeping it very quiet there is talk at the moment that they're going to have to sell the boy um, which I kind of failed to understand with the Red Cardinal deal and the talk of uh, more money coming in and you know it's just a real interesting time at Liverpool at the moment and the talk of having to sell the boy really don't understand it um, West Ham closing in on French goalkeeper Alphonse Ariola from PSG. This will be a good meal for the, this young man because, I mean, obviously with Donnarumma going into PSG, he'd probably slip down the pecking order there. And if you want some game time, this could be a shrewd bit of business by West Ham, according to the Athletic. Um, really looking forward to see how this all evolves and stuff like that. But again, PSG bringing in Donnarumma. Not much room there for Ariola to apply his trade at this stage, you know. Um, Helder Costa off Leeds reported this week in Football Insider that he's looking for a move away from the club and that he's instructed his agent that he wants to move. Um, Obviously interesting, you know, but um, again, Leeds, they're going to be in transition this year as well. They're going to need to bring in a few players and stuff like that if they want to maintain some of the form that they showed in the back end of the season last season. So let's see what interesting times are ahead for Leeds. Yuri Tillemans, 
um, who's been heavily linked with Liverpool in a deal somewhere in the region of 65 million. Uh, Leicester have opened up talks with his agent in terms of extending and putting a new contract in there for Yuri Tillemans, obviously in reaction to interest in the market, namely from Liverpool and the player. Leicester trying to secure his services there with a new contract. Um, Tillemans had indicated to his agent, according to um, uh, Jordan Blackwell, who was talking to Blood Reds, the agenda, um, he was saying that um, he was interested in moving to Liverpool but lesser are in talks from now in terms of a contract. So again, Liverpool thought about having to sell the boy. The question is, who do they sell? They're going to have to move out maybe Shakiri and Origi and players like that in order to generate this 65 million to secure your retailments. Um, so that would be very interesting. Lionel Messi um, out this week. Um, new contract on the table from him at Barcelona, but it looks like he's going to stay at Barcelona, but apparently he's taking a 50% pay cut. Um, so there was a lot of talk about this player throughout the season in terms of greed and politics and all that kind of stuff. But here's a player who's really shown um, his loyalty to the club in terms of he wants to stay there at Barcelona and he's willing to take a 50% pay cut for it, you know. So um, great news for Barcelona, obviously, you know. Um, another player coming out of um, Juventus have rejected an 85 million bid from Chelsea for Federico Chiesa. This man was an absolute star in the Euros. The most, uh, you know, the most bright shining star really for Italy in the Euros, if you think about it, he lit up the actual tournament. You know what I mean? Um, play was unbelievable. Um, absolute quality player. Um, but eighty five million, massive money for Juventus to be rejecting in terms of a bid from Chelsea that was reported by the Daily Star. So it'll be interesting to see what way that evolves. Um, the Guardian reporting this week, Declan Rice. Um, apparently has turned down two new contracts at West Ham and has informed his um, he has informed his agent that he wants to move to Chelsea. Um, no surprise, there's been a lot of talk about this. He's been heavily linked with the club on separate occasions. Um, obviously, very good friends with Mason Mount. Obviously, had a very, very good Euros. You know, was an absolute leader at times in that England team. Um, played some great football and stuff like that so I'm not surprised Chelsea want to bring him in um, but yeah it'll be interesting to see how this all evolves um, interesting move there during the week Olivier Giroud uh, underwent a medical yesterday uh, for AC Milan leaving Chelsea in a bid I think the fee is somewhere in the region of 1.7 but it's a million up front with 700,000 coming in follow-ons Um that's an unbelievable bit of business for AC Milan. I mean, to be able to get a player of the quality of Olivier Giroud in for 1.7 million is absolutely outstanding. Reported by Sky Sports, of course, but uh, there was footage there yesterday of Giroud arriving in Milan for his medical and stuff like that. But this is an unbelievable bit of business. A lot of Premier League teams must have been sleeping on the, the availability of this and also on the cost, you know. Um, Arsenal have begun negotiations with Wolves on the signing of Ruben Neves according to the record um, again absolute brilliant player um, and would be a fantastic bit of business for Arsenal and exactly what Arsenal need at a time where they need players coming in um, with the talk of Granit Xhaka going and various other players like that they've they've done another loan deal for Ganduzi so their midfield definitely needs propping up and Ruben Neves would be the man to fill that void Killian Mbappe, a man that comes up on our episodes here on the Transfer Show every single week, being linked with Liverpool, talk of Liverpool, you know, which obviously is not going to happen at this stage. And certainly not if it's Liverpool are in this, a situation where they have to sell the boys. So Killian Mbappe is not going to be doing. But apparently PSG are considering offering the star a mega money contract to stay at PSG. And I think if that happens, well, then that will be the end of that Killian Mbappe conversation. I'd be surprised if um, his head is turned anywhere else if PSG offer him a huge lucrative deal. It's been reported by the Daily Mirror this week, so um, I think we can probably close the door on Kylian Mbappe pending on the size of that PSG deal when it breaks. Um, also reporting in the Daily Star this week, um, talk that Chelsea and Man City have both turned down the chance to sign Ant Anton Griezmann. Um, very good player. Without a shot of a doubt, the move to Barcelona hasn't been what people thought it would be. Um, but certainly a very, very good player. 
but it looks like Barcelona are looking to offload him. Um, had an okay Euros, not the best Euros, but again, France sort of flattered to deceive in the end. Um, but certainly he would be a player that will be on the radar for a lot of teams. There's also talk at the moment as well that he's being offered in a swap deal as Barcelona tried to secure Sol Naguez off Atletico. So Griezmann will be heading back, Sol Naguez the other way to Barcelona. But again, I'm not too sure because, you know, Barcelona may want to get cash for Griezmann. Um, and also Liverpool have been heavily linked with Sol Naguez, absolutely outstanding player. Better call Saul, as we say to Jorgen Klopp, you know. Finally, Ryan Bertrand has signed, uh, Leicester have signed Ryan Bertrand as a free agent on a two-year contract. Again, decent professional, stuff like that. Uh, probably didn't cost him a huge amount of money, but again, probably Rogers padding out his squad. But again, Ryan Bertrand, decent player, not big money, so a good bit of business for Leicester. Absolutely interesting week. Um, a lot of teams making a lot of moves at the moment. This is obviously going to take a lot of momentum over the next few weeks. Euros are out of the way. Pre-season has started. A lot of players are turning from big competitions like the Euros, like the Copa America and various different tournaments like that. So they're going to be back in the countries. They're going to be doing medicals. They're going to be chasing down agents, looking to get their moves in place and stuff like that. And the teams obviously want to secure the service of these players as quickly as possible. We're only four weeks out from the start of the season. So it's not a lot of time for these new players to bet in with their new teammates and stuff like that. But it remains to be seen. But certainly, looking at the moment, United seem to be the front runners in the transfer window at the moment, looking to bring in Jaden Sancho, Rafael Varane, and Kieran Trippier. But it remains to be seen. This has been, of course, your weekly look back at the transfer market at the moment, all the news, opinion, and gossip. Leave your comments down in the video. As always, Dynamo Podcast Network for the episodes. Spotify, Podbean, iTunes for audio versions of the show. Again, if you want to contact the show at the underscore upper underscore tier, or you'll get us on Facebook, the upper tier. And we will be back with you again next week with more significant news in terms of these transfers. Till next time. Cheers.